36 cycles. Time for that upgrade. Getting myself a new computer because the one I've got is just too old. It just doesn't have the firepower to make videos. So this is a well, it's technically a gaming computer, but um, um, yeah, we're adding like a lot of shit. This is a terabyte, one terabyte, and I have a two terabyte hard drive on the other side right there. And this is a three point something gigahertz. I forget. Whatever. Who cares? It's fast enough. So I need to get more memory though. I only got eight gigs. So I got three more slots. So I could seriously bump it up. But the most important thing came in. This, I have to thank you guys. I have to thank you, all my YouTuber watchers, uh, subscribers. Uh, thank you for watching. It's because of you that I just got myself another Terra Amp. Amp. That's what it's called, Terra Amp. Amp. <laughs> right? It's a Terra Amp amplifier. Uh, the other one's a, a 1 ohm. The one I have, it's identical to this, but this one, check it out. It says right there, 2 ohms, right? Okay, so my problem was with my, uh, uh, on, the, on, the, on the green bug, the K9s, Rockville K9s, they're, I can't, I can either get a half a ohm uh, load or 2 ohm load. And obviously the 1 ohm, uh, amplifier that's in there identical to this it's a one ohm amplifier that's in there that one obviously is not going to play well with my Rockville so I'm only running like 700 watts it's between 6 and 700 watts that's it that's all it's going to give but now I have the 2 ohm 2 ohm it's identical to the other one except it's 2 ohm and I should be able to get my 1200 watts anyways it's because of you guys that I got this you guys, I, I didn't put any of my money. This is YouTube money. This is what I'm going to be using for projects. And I should be not spending my money. Because my money is my money. Okay? My money is my money. And then YouTube money is garage money. Okay? <laughs> garage. Play money. It's play money. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay? And, um, uh, yeah. Let's see if the channel gets any bigger. We'll start doing more complex uh, projects. Yay! Ah, uh, yes. The world's tiniest, boomiest, tiny little amplifier. Uh, for being this small, it, it, it's very, very heavy. Like, heavy. Like, beyond normal heavy. There we are. Terra Amp. Okay. These are very high current amplifiers um yeah the rockville uh canines those are you know they say they can handle like a couple of thousand watts they, they really can't unless you use their amplifiers and the simple reason is because let me explain this real quick i'm gonna say 99.9 percent .9 of all the amplifier manufacturers that you know their speaker output run at a very high voltage it's a very similar voltage okay the rockville's don't. The output on the speakers run, run at a very low voltage. Thus, they run higher amperage, meaning more wattage. Meaning they, they really are putting out, you know, 4,000 watts. Okay. And those speakers can handle 4,000 watts, but at a very substantial lower voltage. Okay. At least that is my, my, my theory on that because I used to be a technician. I know how things work. So... Yeah, all they have to do, you know, to stay out of trouble, because they're getting a lot into a lot of trouble. A lot of people are just, you know, laughing at them. Ha, ha, ha. This, the subwoofers, K9s, only, they blew up at, you know, 800 watts, right? And all they have to do is just write a little card. If you're running the standard amplifier, which runs at a very higher voltage on the outputs on the speakers, you know, they will basically blow up at 700 watts, okay, per speaker, okay? But they're... 
if they're not doing that. So people don't know that. Okay, if they're if you're not running their amp, their Rockville amp, okay, it, you're you're gonna damage those speakers because the standard amplifier will always blow those speakers at around 800 watts. Okay, and this is a standard amplifier. These this will blow a single uh, subwoofer. It'll blow it to kingdom come because it's 1200 watts. But because I'm running in uh, in series, so they can handle 1200 watts RMS. So there you go. That's why we're good. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install this real quick, and uh, we'll see how loud it gets. Right now, the one that's in there, it's loud, but it, it's not as loud as I used to have back in the day. It's it you know it, it rattles my eye sockets, it tickles my nose a little bit, and I get nice thumps in my back, you know, nice massage. Uh, but that's as far as it goes, really. And I'm hoping that this one will go overboard. Oh, one more thing. My speaker box in the back is too small. Okay. I've known that, you know, obviously, because I run a bug, bug and yeah, they're tiny. On my, I used to have a 72 uh, turquoise blue. and I painted it myself and it was badass. Anyway, the whole speaker box encompassed the whole rear end. It actually came up to about here, here. Right, you know, right here. The subs were right here. They're MTX Blue Thunders. I had four. I had one, two, and then three. Oops, three, and then four. I had four. And I had two, uh, was it the uh, Volt amps? That's it, the equivalent thing of a Gravity. It's, it's, I think it's the same company. And man, that bug bumped. Okay, <laughs> that bug bumped. But that's because I had a speaker box that was supersized. And I don't want to get rid of my rear seats. So I'm stuck with a little tiny little box in the back. But I'm thinking brutal force, right? Brutal force. Brutal force will take care of that problem. So there's right there, one ohm. And this one says two ohms. You can barely see that, but whatever. And so basically what I'm just gonna do right now real quick, because I already set this amplifier up, I'm basically gonna copy these settings that are here. You know, these settings, I'm just going to copy them, put them exactly more or less where they are, because I already messed around with this. I already know, you know, I had it all set up. So I'm just going to copy it. This is because they're very similar amps, so this is not that hard. I'm going to do that right now and install it, and then we'll see how loud it goes. And there we are. We are fully installed. We've got our amplifier all hooked up. Uh, yeah, this is a 1,000 cranking amps. We have a 1,000 cranking amps right here. And we have another thousand cranking amps right here. So we're running three sets of batteries. Now it's really loud. Um, it hits like two or three times harder than it was hitting before. Now I can feel it through my guts, like my guts are, are turning inside out. It, it's, it hits hard. I can't believe how hard it hits, okay? Tiny little speaker box with K9 Rockville's 12 inch running with a Terra amp, two ohms. The whole, yeah, it's all wired up in two ohms. One ohm, yeah, I didn't know, whatever. It's a learning experience. I bought another project car, um, the GTI. My son sold it to his uh, brother, which is my son, obviously, younger brother. Younger brother said, uh, you know what, dad, I don't think I wanna work on that car. Uh, yeah, you wanna buy it? How much? Uh, what what I paid for it? I'm like, damn it! <laughs> so I said, yeah, whatever. I'll buy it off you. So the blue GTI is now mine. So I'll be working on that car more often. There's a lot of things that I want to do to the interior to get it up to snuff because it's not up to my code of uh, perfection. So yeah, I I'm like that. Okay, I've always been like that since I was a teenager. It has to, everything has to be perfect. Like I'm I'm really that OCD. <sighs> Although it kind of went away when I got married because that's when real life hits you. Real life hits you and it's like, OCD, oh, yeah, put it on the back burner. But yeah. 39 <laughs> cycles. Shit. 40 cycles. Holy shit. <laughs> Where's the pause cycles. button? Holy cow. That was intense. Okay, that <laughs> I was calibrating the, the things a little bit more. 
the the uh, the uh, low crossover things and uh, base boost and all that stuff. So, holy cow! This definitely is the loudest system I've ever had it, with the tiny little speaker box, subwoofer box. <laughs> K9s, they still rule. It's brute force, brute force. That's my friend said. You know what? If you don't have the room for the the big speaker box, brute force is the way to go. There you go. He was right. Brute force. So I guess the big question is, why am I attracted to face songs, right? I don't know, man. I just remember being like, uh, I was like seven years old. And I remember my neighbor, next door neighbor, uh, he just always had like boomy music, orchestra style music. And I was like, wow, okay, cool. Then uh, one day, I guess, uh, somebody threw away a subwoofer. And I was like eight years old. And I grabbed it and I looked at it. And I go, oh, I can fix this. I just grabbed silicone and uh, some construction paper and repaired the cone because the cone was ripped. And they worked just fine. Uh, and then from there, I uh, just, my neighbor installed a, you know, 12 inch, uh, a pair of 12 inches on, on his car. And there's a Buick Regal. And uh, I was just like, wow, you can do that in the car? And it sounded really nice. And uh, there I am. Cool. And then, uh, let's see. Yeah, we grew up together as neighbors. And then when I was like 18 years, they moved away to Santa Maria, I think. No, Santa Ana. I'm sorry. They moved to Santa Ana. And we lived in the Bay Area over in uh, Watsonville. Uh, that's uh, Santa Cruz County, for those of you who don't know your your cities in California. And I hadn't seen them for like 20 years. And all of a sudden, you know, I buy my house here in Bakersfield. And, you know, the concrete guy is pouring some concrete. I go out to see uh, how they're doing, you know, with the pour. And I hear my name. Santa! And I look around, I'm like, Jose! <laughs> it, it was my next door neighbor former next door neighbor and I go what are you doing here he goes I live here we're neighbors <laughs> again <laughs> what are the odds of that right so yeah so my daughter and his daughter are, are the same age and uh, they, they basically get along they've known each other since they were children since they, since they were babies I guess you could say so, yeah, they, it's, you know how it's almost like the angels upstairs said, hey, yeah, those two need to be together. So we need to fix something. So we ended up, me and my next door neighbor ended up being neighbors again. It's really weird. So, yeah, that's why I can crank it up. And nobody really cares because uh, the, everybody around me, I think, has a pretty loud stereo. So nobody really cares. Nobody bugs each other. I mean, we're used to it. We grew up in this stuff, okay? Like, we grew up with this stuff. So this is normal for us. Yeah, we're really annoying. <laughs> really annoying. Anyway, so I like orchestra style music. See, like, like uh, this is the first song that he played, my next door neighbor played. And I was like, wait, what? I just loved it. This is the absolute first orchestra style bass song that I ever heard. And I was just attracted to this. Okay. Ever since, just attracted to orchestra style bass songs. And um, this next one, Billy E made this, the bass mechanic. They made this. This is like, uh, like you know, Beethoven style music. And they actually added bass. And I remember making a comment on one of my YouTube videos. If somebody made this, uh, I would listen to this stuff. And it's awesome. Listen to it. Man, it's soothing. It's really, really soothing. It, it just... I don't know. It's just something in my brain just gets soothed. Is that even a word? Soothed? Soothed? <laughs> I just made that one up. Yeah. I'm just going to go away and uh, 
Adiós, muchachos. Adiós, muchachas. <laughs> wow. This computer... Man, just... It, it, it must have taken it like 13 minutes to render that video. Normally, uh, this is like a... Oh, maybe like 10, 12 minute video. That usually takes a couple hours, like two hours to render it on my old computer. And now, this thing... It, it, it's just lightning fast. 13 minutes, it's done. Which means that I can do 4K videos now. Woohoo! Okay, we're gonna do 4Ks from here on. Or at least try to. Uh, you know, now that I have a super lightning fast computer. And it, uh, yeah, I rendered it real quick. All right, so we have upgraded our, our computer. Yay! Upgraded our Terra amps. And kick ass with that shit. I thank you, thank you again. I know I just said it, but. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching my videos. This is where I come and make a fool out of myself. Not that it's a negative thing. Actually, I, uh, you know, I just love doing videos. Whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching. Adios muchachas. Adios muchachos.